all right everyone hope you all are doing well so in today's video we'll talk about should you update to mac os big Sur public beta 4 from mac os catalina as i'm using the mac os public beta 4 mac os big Sur public beta 4 for last seven days and i also informed you guys on my twitter account and also on my instagram account that i'm updating to mac os big Sur public beta 4 today so it's been around one week or so i'm using the mac os public beta mac os i just forgot mac os big Sur. so i'm using the mac os big Sur public beta 4 on my macbook air and it is running pretty well okay so should you update to mac os big Sur public beta from mac os catalina it's a big question every single day i get so many messages from you guys that should i update my macbook pro 15 inch 2015 2016 to mac os big Sur public beta is it good how many bugs does it contains i already talked about all of those bugs i personally found on my mac with the mac os big Sur, and i also made all of those videos on my channel if you want you can definitely check them out you will get a better idea luckily i have to say on mac os big Sur public beta 4 it's much better than the first beta that i installed on my main device there were so many issues like the archive folders were not showing properly those were having black icons and sometimes the search bar terminal doesn't work a lot of problems were there i don't want to talk about all of those things right now because all of those things are fixed right now so i'm really happy about those so before installing any software on our primary computers or even any computers we have to care about some things those are i have noted all of them over here features performance and all of those hiccups you are going to get with your latest updates hiccups is equal to bugs you are going to get with the latest updates because maybe you are using one operating system or software update and with the next updates everything you do on your computer just broken it's just broken they are not working the way they used to work on their previous operating system previous version or whatever you are using it's a confusing question right now should you update and i'll tell you about whether you should update or not so everyone has different choice for their device my choice is mostly for features whatever the new feature is i just want that whatever happens if my device crashes i don't care i just want to see explore the new features so with the mac os big Sur, you are getting so many interesting features that you will definitely like you'll feel that oh, this operating system is just lit super amazing so feature wise it's amazing the designs are much better than all other operating system the design is like pretty much kind of a iOS kind but I personally like it because the design looks much familiar to me because I use the iPad I use the iPhone each and every day so I'm more familiar with the iOS icon designs and also about the control panel or the notification system so the control notification systems on the Mac OS Big Sur is inspiration of the iOS systems or the iPad OS system I kind of like that system like the control system but I'm thinking that Apple is just trying to promote their touch screen system over there because it feels like kind of a touch screen. If you are using the control panel, you'll feel like those are a little wider, taller, and that feels like we can put our finger on those and scroll up, down, right, left. So it's maybe an indication for a touch screen Mac. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested about the touch screen Macs, by the way. Anyway, now let's talk about the stuff for you. How we can forget? I really love to talk about browsers because I'm a browser guy. How many browsers do you use? I use a lot. I use literally a lot around eight to nine browsers. Whatever browser is available, I use all of them. Recently, I installed Opera GX on my Mac, but in all of them, I really, really like Safari because Safari is just it's it's a little futuristic and uh, it's more optimized for Macs and the speed is much better so I kind of like Safari so Safari got so many new updates that I just can't complete talking about Safari because there is a lot of things in Safari so now you can track which website is tracking you you can block them even there are so many more features on the Mac OS Big Sur's Safari even the coolest update I think is the 4k video playback on Safari so as I updated to Mac OS public beta big not public beta Mac OS big Sur public beta uh, version 4 public beta 4 and now I have 4k video playbacks on Safari so now I can natively watch YouTube videos on 4k on Safari and that will be an interesting features if you have older Macs because Chrome other browsers take so many resources in compared to Safari so you want the features you need to upgrade whatever happens if your device crashes it doesn't matter now let's talk about the performance is the performance any better or it's saving some battery life 
or whatever it is doing in terms of the performance. Luckily, I have to say that macOS Big Sur is kind of amazing. I don't know how they are doing this, but in compared to macOS Catalina, I feel that macOS Big Sur is much speedier it saves much more battery maybe it's it's maybe my illusion i don't know but i feel that it is saving a little more battery than the macOS catalina while i'm video editing on final cut pro x now i can edit for a little longer time so maybe because of this catalyst or rosetta 2 or whatever they are doing i think it is saving the battery life performance is a plus just the performance or the update if you upgrade to macOS big Sur, you will feel that the performance is better than catalina and i have personally seen that on my day-to-day -day uses like the startup times i have made several videos so i'm not going to talk about all of those things if you want to check all of them out then go to my channel explore that and you will feel you'll see like you you can't just explore all of those things and you'll get the idea anyway final thing is the bug you are getting so many things so many features there should be some drawbacks and i've talked about some of those drawbacks on my old videos but all of those drawbacks are right now fixed for my uses i don't see any kind of extensive bugs on my operating system my computer is running a plus there is no issues previously i had three bugs and right now all of those bugs are no more i'm happy to say you that everything is perfectly fine so you should definitely update to macOS big sir if you think that your computer is not performing well try upgrading to macOS big sir and i'll suggest you to do clean installation don't just update to the macOS big set just do a clean installations and you will feel that your computer is much faster that's what i do i never just update to new operating system because i think it makes the operating system a little slower as the performance goes down so i usually just clean install so you can definitely check macOS big Sur and it is a plus from my side